Hi, today I'm going to show you how to import CSV and XLSX data into BigQuery. Um, let's say you have a CSV file on your computer or more people want to automate this process. Like they get, they have CSV files on FTP server that are placed every day and you want those um, fetched and imported or you're getting a file via email as an attachment you want that imported or you want to get the file from Google Drive or Dropbox or S3 or something like that. Um, and we just want to import it into BigQuery. So here I am in BigQuery. I have you know a project, a data set, and a table. We're going to import it to this table called the works. You'll see it has a bunch of fields that are different types, string, boolean, integer. Then I have one field that's a record that has three string fields. Uh, and we're just going to import data into this. Maybe it's daily or you know ad hoc throughout the day, or your team wants to do it you know every week or something like that by selecting a file. Um, all of that's possible with Easy CSV. So we're going to go over to Easy CSV. We're going to click sign up. Since we're going to use Google, I'm going to sign in with Google. You can sign in with email and then connect Google later. It's just a little easier to sign in with Google. When you sign in with Google here, uh, make sure you grant all the scopes. Um, I'm not going to show that step, uh, but you'll see the next screen in a second. Cool. So I went through the steps to connect Google. Um, you'll land on this page, and this is you setting up your import page and your import flow. Uh, so you can either drag the CSV file that you have as an example here, which this is just for setup, not for import, which is what I would recommend. If you have an XLSX file, you do need to change it to CSV just for this step to set up, or you can um, type columns here. What I'm going to do is I have um, this fake CSV file that has the names of the BigQuery columns. That's just a pretend CSV file with one row, and I want to import you know, this row into BigQuery. So I could download this as a CSV file, Right, export CSV and use that file here. But since I've connected Google, I can just type in that file. And you'll see after you do that, it's going to grab all the columns. If there's any columns you don't care about that you don't, you're, you know you're not going to use in BigQuery, just uncheck them, especially if you have a ton of columns. Uh, or if there's not that many, you can just leave it checked. Uh, you'll see here I've named these uh, nested ones like this, but these can be named anything at this point. Cool, then for the destination, I'm going to choose BigQuery. Cool, so at this point, uh, we've connected our Google account, but we haven't granted the BigQuery permissions. And so you'll click this button, or you can go into the import flow and click it. Um, I'll do that in a second, I just want to explain what this page is. This page is your import page, so you can drag files onto here once we've set up the mapping to BigQuery, and you can run the import process here manually. Uh, this is also kind of your home base. You can make this page shareable, so you can turn it public by going to sharing settings and making it anyone who wants to import, and then you can send that file to your team or whoever, and they can come to this page and do imports. Um, okay, so let's go into the import flow. This top area of the import flow is how easy CSV can get files. So, you know, you can drag and drop files on the page. You can embed this form somewhere else. You get a custom email address that you can have emails sent to with attachments, and they can be downloaded and uploaded. Also, if it's in a URL in the email, it can do that. Um, a lot of people like to forward emails they're receiving. Maybe they get a report every week and they forward it to this um, email address and it auto imports. Uh, we also have a scheduled fetcher functionality where you can say on a schedule, on your schedule that you want, uh, go to all these places and grab a file. So you can grab it from FTP, Drive, Airtable, Smartsheet, uh, Notion, Box, wherever a file is, we could probably go grab it and then auto import it through this flow. The middle area is kind of your configuration, the columns you told Easy CSV to care about. You can filter out bad data if you want. You can combine or transform data. Maybe you need to put two fields into one and map that to BigQuery. Maybe you need to change a date format into a new date format. Um, that's what you'll do that with virtual fields. So check our docs for that. It's just a way to um, manipulate the data in ways you need. And then the bottom is destination. So we need to make sure we give the right scopes. Then we're going to select the project data set. So I'm going to click this. I won't show up, but it'll go over to Google, and uh, you'll have to just add the other two BigQuery permissions. So I checked the two BigQuery permissions, and I'm back. You'll see that it was properly connected. Now we're going to select the project data set and table. So go here. We'll select a project. We're going to do the kitchen sink, and then we're going to do the works. Cool. So now the last thing is I need just to map the columns. So on the left, these will all be the all columns from the table, right? And on the right will be all the columns from your spreadsheet or and or virtual fields. So if you made some virtual fields, they would be listed here. So we're going to do name, a 
enabled. These are all the same names. In your CSV, they probably won't be named the same, right? They'll probably be like whatever the names are um, that happen to be in the CSV. And one thing I would like to call out is uh, make sure when you go to BigQuery, BigQuery is a little uh, lenient, right? Like if you need to specify a Boolean, which is like a true false value, you can specify it as a string. So the, the word true and the word false and Google BigQuery will handle that. Um, what it what it does choke on is uh, when there's a certain type needed, like for a date, right, let's see, let's find a date, visit date, it needs to be year, hyphen, month, hyphen, day. If it's not year, hyphen, month, hyphen, day, for like exam example this, you're going to want to make a, a virtual field in Easy CSV. You can take the date from the CSV. Tell us what that initial format is and tell us what format you need it in and you're going to want to go to this format. right? And there's a link here to go to all the different formats that Google BigQuery expects. Like here's the date format. This is Google's Docs. Here's how the date times need to look like, right? Hour, month, hour, minute, second. You can't just submit hour, minute, for example, for time. You need hour, minute, second. So use our virtual fields uh, to help massage and reach out to support via chat or email if you need help uh, massaging the data. Cool. So let's save that. And that's it, really. Now so you're ready to, to import a CSV file right on this page, and it should go to BigQuery. Um, I'm going to search for that Google Sheet, right? I'm going to search for this one. I could download a CSV and just drag it here. But you, you can also start emailing. You can use the scheduled fetcher to go grab the file from somewhere. You're just ready to go at this point. It's pretty quick. Uh, so let's, let's import this kitchen sink file. Cool. Cool. Got one record. Uh, you can import another file, but if you refresh this page, you'll see there's a log at the bottom. If there's any errors, you get that. Uh, you'll get an email that looks like this, and it'll say it's processed or not. If there were any errors, you'll have an attached CSV file to this email with the errors from uh, Google BigQuery telling you what those errors were and why. So it'll say like the date format was incorrect for this uh, row. Uh, so then you'll want to fix that stuff and re-import those error rows. Uh, so make sure you have your emails on. There's there's email settings here, notifications. You know, send send the results to the person importing, or you can always send it to the account owner if you have other people uploading things. Um, kind of up to you. That's really it. It's pretty quick. Um, if we weren't talking through this, it'd probably take you under a minute to connect everything, and then you map your columns, and you're ready to import. If you need help with automating or anything, just reach out to Easy CSV support via chat or email. We get back to everybody. If we don't answer right away in chat, we always will. Um, thanks.